Chicago Public Schools confirmed what the teachers' union feared. Four schools could be closed soon. The schools in jeopardy are John Hope College Prep, Team Inglewood Community Academy, Harper High School, and Robeson High School. CBS 2's Sandra Torres has the story live from Robeson. Sandra. Well, Rob and Erica, the plan is for the new high school to be built here for the freshman class of 2019. And while CPS says their plans are based on the students' interest, current students say they do not agree. As students end their day at Paul Robeson High School in Englewood, many react to the news they may have to find a new school next year. I think that's a bad idea because, look, we knew each other all our life, you feel me? And then now that we got to be split up, and you feel me, it hurts. We built a student and teacher relationship in this school. Like everybody in this school know each other. CPS announced their plan today, saying Robeson, Harper, John Hope College Prep, and Team Englewood High Schools could close by June. In a school where enrollment is so low that kids are only offered the basic minimum. They don't have access to advanced placement courses. They don't have access to all the sports and after school activities and all the other things that make up a rich high school experience. Nearly 330 students currently enrolled in those schools would have the opportunity to choose where they'll finish off high school. And we plan to sit down individually with the parent and the student to find out what transition is best for that child. This until a new $85 million campus is finished by fall 2019. We will have a state-of-the-art high school uh, built in our community that will afford our students with the opportunity to continue their educational experience. Well, this is an outrage. And members of the Chicago really Teachers Union disagree. You can't begrudge people for wanting something better, but that's precisely why we need to invest in schools like Robeson, Team Englewood, Harper. We can't abandon Englewood. And the Chicago Board of Education is expected to vote on the plan in February, but members of the public can give their input during community meetings and public hearings scheduled for January. Reporting live in Englewood, Sandra Torres. CBS 2 News, Robin Erica. Sandra, the new campus, will it be able to accommodate all the schools that are leaving the four that are being closed? Well, that's what they say. However, it is not a guarantee that the students who live in the area are going to be able to go to that school. That's something that CPS has not clarified. Okay. Sandra Torres, thank you.